People across the country are soaking their heads to raise awareness for a devastating disease. And today, one local group is bringing awareness to the heartland with their annual event. News 5's Kelly Baumgarten has the story. It's a shock to the system, but it's all for a good cause. It was cold. But it was nothing compared to what these patients are going through. On Sunday, ALS in the Heartland held their third ALS awareness walk in Grand Island. The topic of conversation, the ice bucket challenge videos that are flooding the internet. The social media aspect of it is um, awesome. Um, all of the, uh, the celebrities, the millionaires out there, anything that we can do to get funds for this disease. Denzel Rasmussen was diagnosed with ALS this May. It's getting used to that new normal and meaning that there's some limitations for what I used to do. ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease. It affects nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. It robs you of your body, but your mind is completely intact. ALS is fatal and there is no cure. Lisa Chaddock's father was diagnosed with ALS at 70. And at 73, he died. Loved being with his family and his grandchildren. Um, and slowly, um, he uh, was able, unable to walk. Donations to the ALS Association have just reached over 13 million. Last year, the organization saw less than 2 million in donations. Now, the reason that the Ice Bucket Challenge has been so successful in raising awareness is because everyone who completes the challenge then nominates their friends to take the challenge, they nominate their friends, and so on. So I challenge everyone who's watching this video. You have 24 hours. Good luck. Here goes nothing. And local organizations like ALS in the Heartland are reaping the benefits too. Our agency alone made close to $1,000 last week. Normally, they are lucky to raise $100 in a week. I don't think that many people would be aware, and the millions of dollars that have been raised for ALS research uh, wouldn't have been realized. And for those suffering with the disease, this isn't get about getting ready to die. This is about living life to its fullest. Reporting in Grand Island, I'm Kelly Baumgarten. ALS in the Heartland provides therapy for patients with ALS in all of Nebraska and western Iowa. 93% of their donations that the organization receives goes directly to the patients that they serve. 